what is the best workout? In other words, does it matter which workout you do? All right, so the short answer is... The short answer is no, and here's why. It matters so much more that you actually do a workout than which type of workout you do. But if we're talking about optimizing, and I know that there are some optimizers out there, the best combination is strength and cardio. That is the best combination, it's the golden combination. And then within cardio, you wanna think about getting zone two training, which I'm actually really excited about because I'm learning a lot about the benefits of it. I can make a video about it if you want separately, comment below. And then we also need HIT, and we also need LIS, um, and in addition to strength training. And we actually need more LIS than we think the low intensity aerobic activity, right? Where the low intensity steady state, where you can basically, let's say you're talking, you're walking with a friend, you can have a semi-strained conversation because you're going at 70 to 80% of your max heart rate, right? You're not going at hundred percent. It's still a little bit challenging and like, it's a little bit challenging to breathe out of your nose, right? So we all have different zones, uh, heart zones. So I think for me at that point, it would be like the end of zone two slash a little bit zone three. So I'm getting intensity minutes on my Garmin, my smartwatch. But again, that would probably be like 127, 128, 130 for me. But for everyone, it's different because we have different zones. So that's something to think about. Um, now in terms of like, if you could only pick one exercise, I personally would go with like one type of, of training, I would go with strength training because you're also getting the cardio from that, provided that it's a challenging one, you know? So that's something to keep in mind. But if you want to really um, get that golden combo, then what you want is the cardio plus the strength training, right? And what's great is that this combo will help you access your own internal fat stores, both the visceral fat and the subcutaneous fat, to use energy and also to build muscle, right? And so let's just talk about that for a second. Do you feel like you need to go 100% with a workout program and do something super challenging versus doing a program that you're gonna do consistently, but maybe it's not as hard for you? I would say if you are feeling like it's really grueling and you're not looking forward to doing your workout, even though it's super hard, um, like you're not feeling like you're enjoying it, I would try to do another type of program that might be a little bit less challenging because you can always make it more challenging when you feel like it, right? Um, and what's really interesting is training is super, super important, even maybe a little bit more important than nutrition. So I was listening to podcasts with Peter Atia and Dr. Lane Norton, and he has a PhD in nutrition, but he's also like a gold medalist power lifter. And so he's dedicated a lot of his life to optimizing body composition and building muscle and burning fat, right? And so he talks about how training is super important, like consistently training. And of course, good nutrition is good, but it's not really the 80-20 that a lot of people talk about. So if you think of it along those lines, then it's totally fine to do a program where you, you know, you're going to feel challenged, but it's maybe not like giving it 100%, 150%, right? If you are uh, training for life and just training for longevity, which I think is many people's goals, whether they're you know, realizing that or not, um, it's certainly my goal. And if, it, if you're not training for something specific, then I would say just go for, you know, maybe even an intermediate program. I personally like mixing in those challenging programs because I like testing my limits and I like pushing myself, but there are definitely moments where I feel like I need to kind of like pause a little bit and pause by, I mean, like not stop my workout completely. Cause again, consistency, um, but just kind of like maybe do something a little bit lower key. So a little bit, um, like maybe more intermediate along my, my own level. Um, and that, that, you know, for everyone that's different. So to recap, there's no such thing as the best workout. The best workout is the one that you do, the one that you do consistently. And I don't think you need to push it hundred percent each time unless you want to, right? If you feel good doing that, then do it. Um, but I don't think you should feel pressure and think like, oh, I'm not getting enough out of this workout because I'm only doing like an easy program or an intermediate program. The, you know, you can make it as hard as you want to, right? You can make any workout tough if you go in with that mindset, right? It's only as tough as you push it. It's only as tough as you want to make it. 
So, you know, you know how to do that, right? Increasing the rates, increasing the reps, increasing the intensity, jumping higher, you know, pushing further. Um, so again, you can make it challenging if you want to. And again, if we're going to backtrack a little bit, you don't have to go max every single time in your workout, but you do want to keep it consistent because that's where you're going to get the most benefits ultimately. Um, and so I think it's really interesting to keep that in mind. And like, I wouldn't feel pressure to try to do a program that is super, super, super challenging uh, just because you think it might benefit you. Any workout is going to benefit you and you can push it as much as you want to, even in like an easy workout or intermediate workout, right? And in fact, you might even get more out of it because maybe your form is better if you're even going with a little bit lighter weights, right? So just really keeping that in mind. And again, injury prevention and thinking about the long haul, the long game, right? Consistency is more important than what type of workout you're going to do. And again, for the optimizers out there, I see you, um, I'm certainly an optimizer myself, then you want that golden combo, which is strength and cardio. And also don't underestimate the power of zone two training. So yeah, you can achieve a lot with those things. Um, so I think it's really interesting to see that those types of training can really help us level up in life, ultimately. <laughs> so yeah. What about you? What are your favorite types of training? Do you have favorite programs and trainers? I always ask that because it's constantly evolving. There are a lot of people that are new um, and surfacing on um, you know, the web and everything. And so it's great to discover new people. And I always like hearing uh, your input and getting to know what you're up to with your fitness and with your health goals. So that's all for me today. I will see you in another Ignite Fit. Ciao for now. Oh, 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 oh,